Hi everyone, this is Deb Tim, a Canadian girl, and this is the second half of my reveal. My 150 gallon is now home to my Geophagus Ultrafons, and my um, African Cichlids have been moved to uh, their new 75 gallon home. And you know what, it is beautiful. It turned out really good. Um, it was hard cutting down the herd, but have a look and let me know what you think. After a long weekend of juggling tanks, I am so happy to share with you my new African Malawi Cichlid Community Tank. You can't really tell which tank this is, but this is Humphrey's old tank. While tearing down the two tanks and moving them, I decided I would move Humphrey as well. So this tank is the one that Humphrey was living in in the corner of my living room. They seem to have weathered the move from my 150 gallon down to the 75 gallon just fine. I look at these beautiful fish and think the tank looks empty. In preparation for them coming in here, I soaked the resin rocks and fake plants in bleach water so everything would be clean, giving this new setup a fresh start. It was me that suffered the most than anyone in order to make this move. I had to cull this group of cichlids down by more than half. I'm happy with my choices, although every time I go down to the basement to feed the others, I see some I want to keep, but I don't want to give up any I have upstairs. It is crazy hard. The faster these guys are gone, the better it will be for me. When I started pulling the cichlids from the 150, I counted them. I had more than I originally believed. I had over 100 cichlids in my 150. Now that's overstocked. But somehow I had to bring that number of cichlids down to between 35 and 40. I ended up with 39 in this tank as it stands right now and I will not exceed 40. At least that's my goal. I still had a few peacocks left for my Hapson Peacocks community when I was unable to let some of them go. So now this is a mixed Malawi tank. I'm okay with that. I love the colors and these fish all seem to get along really well. I am also thrilled that Ghost, my tank boss, has resumed his leadership role. Often when you relocate fish, there are new power struggles that need to be settled. During these displays of dominance, it's not uncommon that a new tank boss will emerge. I'm very proud of Ghost. I really think he commands respect. The colors are vibrant. The fish look very happy. I'm very happy with the scape. Aside from not buffing out the scratches on any of the tanks, I would say this move was a success. So until next time, this is Deb Tim signing out. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.